Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.8. And in this third Let's Play episode, we're going to go and proceed to collect more produce and bring it on back to our little house we've got here. Uh, we're going to look for nails, and uh, yeah, we're just going to... My guy's really... My, my girl is uh, very bored, so uh, we know how to fix boredom, and that's by killing zombies. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to collect some clothes from our fallen comrades here. Uh, let's, yeah, I'll make four. We're going to craft a uh, rope, cloth rope, sheet rope, and uh, we're going to, we have our nails? No, we don't have our nails, so we got to go get them. We're going to make a little rope ladder for us outside of our bedroom window. Definitely need more nails. If you can find a box of nails, that would be perfect. Allowing us to barricade this house. Even better would be a sledgehammer, but what can you do? All right, so let's go ahead and put this rope. So all you need to uh, get a, a rope ladder going, a sheet rope ladder going, is uh, a na some nails, a hammer, and t uh, a sheet rope for every floor that you want to... Uh, Go down so if this one took two sheet ropes and then we're going to find another room to put the ladder on put it in the kids room that way we can have it coming from both sides there we go you always want to test it at least once this is kind of a dangerous area because you can't really see where or what you're dropping on that zombie just felt like hopping inside the house and then hopping out all right that's are taken care of already ellen cook got some good rest last night she's ready to battle looks like we need to uh, fill up our water bottle though so let's go look for some more produce let's go into some of these bigger houses and see what we can find hopefully we'll find um like a baseball bat or something we already have an axe, but it's it's very, very damaged. Sounds like there's a lot of zombies on... Whoa, we got zombies falling out of the windows. We got zombies everywhere. And as you can see, she's not bored anymore. She's a happy camper. Fashion zombie heads down. They're all really slow shamblers. Oh my god, I keep missing. There we go, this one dead. Another one dead. And another one dead. Very okay, well. Got one coming up from behind us. Alright. Just playing ping pong with these three for a little while. There's one down. Now, but now that there's two, we can... Ah, we don't have to do it. Just died anyways. Some more... Pistol rounds. Okay. What's going on in this house? Hi there. Doesn't want to die. And too dead. Can't loot the other one. All right, here we go. Because there's so much activity in this house, I'm just gonna open a door up and then run away. And maybe make some noise to get them to come out. So someone messaged me telling me that you can use, um, you can get a watch from the zombies. So I've got to uh, keep searching for any potential watches. All right, let's um, make some noise. Thank you. Get them to follow us outside. Follow me outside. The problem is to start calling people from different locations as well. So we've got some behind us now. It's not great, but it's fun. Whoa, okay, that's not good at all. 
what happens if you sprint as well as use the key the q key q key q key, q key. And remember, your push it can hit two zombies at once. So if you're using a weapon that only hits one zombie at once, and if you are getting kind of uh, pushed back by some more zombies, you can always just shove... You can actually shove three, as you just saw. It's actually working out really nice. It's just very scary. Wow, that, no, that's actually working really well. Oh, NPC sound. I hadn't heard one of those in a while. I thought maybe it had been removed from the, uh, the new version. But uh, there it is. Crazy lady screaming. Yeah, that push is really good. Just took another two down. There's no way I would have won this fight if I wasn't using that. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of dead zombies. You can push up to three down, it looked like. Alright, some more over on that side. Gotta be careful. I also need to look for like a book. Like a regular book. Or maybe a magazine. Here we go. Get a newspaper as well. I shouldn't be looting. When I still hear zombies in here. Pretty easy way to get yourself killed off. Pistol rounds. Let's see if there's any more in there. Ooh, what is this? This is like a safe house. It looks like, at least. Yeah. So I wonder if we can find a body in here of a survivor. Maybe he has a lot of stuff on him. Or just has foundation makeup on. <laughs> All right, let's clear out some zombies and then loot this place thoroughly. Because who knows where you might be able to find a stash. Oh yeah, look, this this place was boarded up. Oh, no wonder it was so crazy. All right, makes sense. That push is really nice. Wow. Wow. That was good. All right. Still hear banging over here. I don't know if it's for a different building. Well, it definitely sounds like it's coming from in here. Just don't know where. Oh, here we go. Open and run. Oh my God. I'm thirsty now. Ellen Cook wins again. Nice. It's like the banging has stopped and this place is pretty clear. Let's go ahead and get some uh, water. Carpentry. Turn on? Oh, it's trying, it's, yeah, I was clicking on the oven, apparently. All right. Yeah, there we go. Look at all this. Just canned food, non-perishable food. Very good. Box of shotgun shells, two of them. Very nice. Yeah, I always look out for these places that are boarded up that look like a um, survivor had uh, been here. Why wouldn't you put more in your fridge, though? Seems a little silly. I saw some pepper or salt. There he is. Yeah, let's keep looking for stuff. Really looking thoroughly here. Because there's lots of lots of good stuff that we can potentially get from here. But over here on the shelf. The thing is, I haven't seen any disinfectant either, so I've got to start looking for... Um, like, We'll definitely make a trip over to the doctor's office. So 
some more ammo. Probably make a box. Box or two. Let's look for some disinfectant. Oh, here we go. Here's another little stash of uh, non perishables. Another big hiking bag. We'll just take it for now. All right. All right, all right, all right. Doing good. Doing very good. <laughs> My kids are screaming outside. It sounded like it was coming from the game. Oh, all right, I should go check on them to see if there's any zombies out there. Oh, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. Let's survive for 10 minutes. All right, so let's see. Let's go on over to this other house here. Doing some nice little looting. Got tons and tons of food. Oh, no, this one is uh, it's like for sale or abandoned or whatever. That shove is actually feeling like it's better than getting hit with the hammer in terms of getting them to fall down. It's just a little a little crazy. Yeah, look at that. Two little shoves. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, the rage on this thing. So bad. All right, there's another one down. So there's some medium-sized houses over here that are nice. I'm just very worried about um, letting an alarm go off in this area because it will take everything that's to the north and bring it down here, which is no good. By the door? Nope. Layout of this house is scary. There's just so many so many rooms on the outside edges. Right in here, there's definitely someone over here. Well, oh, it's barricaded. It's a bad idea. Okay, here we go. Run! Oh, run! Oh. Run! On just one person? Come on. It's not cool. <laughs> it's like this guy uh, went and uh, ended his own life after uh, wrapping his friend inside the bathroom. <laughs> what a terrible way to go. That's terrible. Okay, so let's get some produce here. We got a pie, a milk, and uh, some grapes, it look like. Frying pan. That was the other thing we needed. That was good. We got one of those now. It looks like our um, our bag is full up. We'll make sure to close this door so we search it later. But let's head back and um, and and get ourselves situated and maybe do a little bit of cooking. Maybe we'll have a, a relaxing second half of this of this game. I would like to find some more frying pans though, uh, so that we can cook multiple meals at once. But um, we'll see. And all this food, all this produce, the stuff that is currently labeled as fresh is going to go bad within the, you know, a certain amount of time. Pretty soon, actually. So it may seem like we're wasting a lot of food, but it's going to get wasted anyways. So it really is nothing to worry yourself over. See if the glass is still in there. Not <laughs> really all that, um, all that thrilled with cooking for long periods of time when all that's blocking the zombies out there are maybe some curtains. Let's go ahead and get some more curtains to uh, close it up. I think there was some curtains up here. In this room, yeah. Remove the curtains. Then we'll replace them downstairs. So that we can uh, we can cover the windows so that zombies can't see us. 
These windows right here are the ones that we, we worry about. Sheep. Ah. Let's go outside. Just a walk outside, apparently. Okay. Close the curtain. Doesn't really matter which side it's on. All right. This window really doesn't see. Well, I can't see into it. That's really bizarre. This game and the lighting, it's always a little funky. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put all this stuff away. Maybe I'll put it in the second container. Yeah, it looks like there's already some junk in here. Uh, we'll keep everything that's not that's perishable. There we go. That was a good run. Look at all that stuff. Very good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and read this book so that we're not unhappy anymore. There we go. Apparently she devours the book <laughs> when you use it. Okay, we got one frying pan, so let's um, stop wasting time and put these in refrigerator. And the bullets. Don't need the nails right now. We don't need the hunting bag. So let's keep moving and uh, get some more. Let's see if we can find some more frying pans. Like if we get like three or four, that's probably perfect. It allows us just to shove as much stuff as we can into those frying pans. And then we uh, cook, cook them all at once. Get a lot of skill that way. I don't think this character has any multipliers for, yeah, it doesn't have multipliers for cooking. That's okay. Once you have a farm, I'm oh, sorry about the zoom. Can't find like a comfortable zoom for me. I don't know what it is. Just check. Wow. Come on. There we go. This place had very little for those medium sized homes to the south. Still haven't found a watch though. So I have no idea what time it is. It's, it could be like seven o'clock at night. It's just about to turn to nighttime. Oh, wow. Something's definitely definitely got the zombies moving. They all seem to be moving to the east. For whatever reason. Nothing. Nothing. I'm getting a lot off of zombies in this. But I am getting the right things off of zombies, if that makes any sense. I got the large hiking bag, got a couple other things. But I'm not getting as much stuff on the corpses as I normally would. Okay, let's see. I'll take the adhesive tape. I think you need to use a lot of tape for the electronic stuff. So might as well start collecting it now. It's not like it's heavy or anything. Can peas. Any more frying pans? Got some more stuff that can be used later. Uh, can sardines and the gardening spray. I don't actually use the gardening spray at all. I find having to uh, cure your plants of diseases is just too much work. Searching for frying pans. Doors just sometimes open. Now this house is completely untouched. I would say, is this my house again? But, uh, nope, not my house. I don't know why I'm looting while I'm moving. That's so bad. I, I st still have the mentality of the fact that I think that I'm like at the end game again. Got a saucepan. Saucepans are pretty good too. Really starting to just pick up as much food as we can now. We got everything in this house. 
two crowbars. Now crowbars are strange. They they behave like a base a baseball bat that only hits one person. Doesn't do that much damage. And then at the same time it exerts you really fast. So you're better off with a smaller, lighter weapon in the beginning in the beginning of the game while you're still kind of weak. Like we're actually starting to gain some strength here. Nice. And never expect your strength and fitness to get all the way to max. Just like, just like sprinting, like you're never going to get it that high. I would really suggest looking up a video that someone made uh, for s someone had that sprinting 10. I guess they cheated and they gave them all the XP in the world. Someone had sprinting 10 and the guy moved so fast he was able to run through hordes. No problem. It was really funny to watch. Definitely suggest taking a look at it. Let's take out these guys. Alright, we got one frying pan. That's enough. That's enough. Not to mention we're using an oven still, so it's not like it's a big deal. Let's go and do a little bit, bit of cooking and then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and finish the episode for now. Yeah, all these zombie corpses. Not one watch, huh? Not a single watch, huh? That's too bad. That's just too bad. Alright, let's move on over to um, our house over here. And then... Uh, cook something and then eat it <laughs> that's how cooking works right all right all right let's get some materials for food leave the tomato there take the frying pan whatever materials we want now the cool thing is is um this is relatively new to the game, but if you are next to a container that has something in there, you can use all of the materials from that container. It will automatically pull. I'm not using the dry ramen noodle because that's uh, that's that doesn't doesn't go bad. But everything that can go bad, I'm gonna start throwing into this stir fry. I have multiple leaks. I do I have multiple leaks. Ooh, but look at that. It looks like they're putting it back. That's kind of cool. Let me verify that. That's really cool because before it was just it would it would go into your inventory. Where's the tofu at? I guess we use all the tofu. Do corn. The corn's in my inventory, and then it goes back. Dang it. <laughs> Stop using it all up. Let's see what else we got here. Cabbage. You don't use a full cabbage. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I'm talking about. It should stay in your inventory. I mean, it shouldn't. I would love it if it went back into the place that you pulled it from. But, um... But yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we made our first uh, vegetable stir-fry. I think I might have put too many cabbages in there. Not the best thing ever, but hey, what can you do? All right? Oh, there's a, there's a cooked salmon in here too. Uh, well, I'll just turn it on. Sounds like it's raining outside. Refreshed, uncooked. You can open that up to see what the cooking level's at. And away we go. Always turn off the stove. Unless you really feel like uh, burning the house down. And then look at that. We got uh, 27 points of cooking from all that stuff we just did. It's not too bad. And our weight's halfway through a single kilogram. And how many days? Like three? And that's, a, that's a pretty good level. I am now I'm getting bored because that food was so boring. Let's do one more and then we'll go ahead and close the episode. 
Actually, let's do it now. It's, we're at 25 minutes. That's, that's way over. All right, folks. So this is Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboy version 35.8. Uh, we got ourselves a frying pan and we're cooking some stuff. I'll probably grind out a couple levels of cooking. Uh, you guys don't want, want to watch me do this over and over again. And then once we're done with the cooking, we need to start looking for some nails because we need to barricade this place up. Uh, we need to gain some carpentry skill. Carpentry skill is extremely important, especially given the fact that um, carpentry allows you to repair items in a more efficient way. Now, I wonder if metalworking has something of that as, as well, but we will look into it as we get there. So cooking, uh, at least the first two levels... Um, see how much I can get from the, from the out of the third level. I don't think we have enough materials for doing too much cooking. But uh, after that, we'll be, then go after more produce. We'll go after nails. And yeah, just get that cooking skill up as fast as we can before the lights and the um, the lights on the water get shut off. All right, folks. So this is Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboy version 35.8. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.